Hey guys, this is Franco, and this is video number two, documenting my little project here, building this DIY closed loop CNC controller inside of this Husky toolbox. This video is going to mostly be about bringing in the 110 volt power to your power supplies. The first thing I want to say about this before I get started is when you're working with these switching power supplies, and here's an example switching power supply. These things are pretty common when you're buying your CNC con uh, control products. You'll, you'll see bundles and kits that use these switching power supplies. I've used them for everything I've done, and for the most part, they've worked great. But if you forget about this, you can have some problems. So most of these switching power supplies are selectable. They can run on 110 volts or 220 volts. Almost everything I've ever purchased comes from the factory set uh, at 220 volt. So make sure when you get your switching power supplies and take them out of the box that the, the first thing you do is make sure you've set it to the correct voltage. And in the United States, that would be 110 volts. Unless you are uh, going to wire up you know, a 220 volt system, then naturally go to 220 volts. But I'm, I'm guessing that most people that are doing this in North America are probably going to go for 110 volts. So that's the first thing I want to say. Before you do anything, make sure your power supplies are set to the correct voltage. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let me just get this over here somewhere. All right. So here is the project. And uh, I want to try to make this really simple too. I'm going to do, just kind of try to hit the key points. So we're wiring up power supplies. And in my case, all my power supplies run off 110 volts. And if I zoom in on this power supply right here, I'll use this as an example. This is the 24 volt power supply, but they all pretty much are going to be the same from this point of view. You're going to see that they have a, a ground, a line, and a neutral. Then, of course, there's the, the voltages, you know, the outputs, but we're not talking about that right now. So right now we're talking about ground, line, and neutral. So what you're basically doing here, wiring up these power supplies, is you're bringing, you're bringing 110 volts into the box, right? That's your, your source. And the, the first thing you want to do is we'll just start with ground. Almost everything in here is going to have a ground terminal. So you can tie all these together. You want to tie all your ground terminals together somehow. Everything needs to be grounded. So that's pretty simple. There's a ground wire coming through this power supply. It comes into the box. All your power supplies right? They all have a ground. So tie all your grounds together. Make sure everything is grounded. That's the first thing. So that's simple. The next thing you're going to find is neutral, the white wire. And all of your switching power supplies are going to have a neutral connection on them. Same thing. There's neutral coming in through the supply. You want to tie all your neutrals together. And I guess, you know, if you're used to doing residential electrical, this won't really, nothing about this is going to seem surprising. If you've never done this before, um, you know, you got to be really careful. But what you're doing is you're wiring all this stuff up in parallel, I guess, if you want to be really technical about it. But you're tying all your neutrals together. So neutral... Neutral comes in, there's neutral there, that neutral comes up to here, and then that neutral comes over to here. So tie all your neutrals together. Now, I guess, uh, you know, the thing we're going to talk about next is line. So this is where it gets just a little bit more technical. So the black wire is line. That is, you know, 
the power, I guess we could say, that's the hot wire. And what I did is I brought it, the, you know, the power, brought the line into the box. The first thing line does is it goes to a fuse. And then from the fuse, it goes to a switch. And then from the switch, we'll first, we'll talk about this. The switch comes over here to this first power supply, to the, to the line connection on that first power supply. And then I just did what I did for everything else. You tie all your lines together. So the line on that power supply is tied to the line on this power supply, is tied to the line over on this power supply. So basically doing the same thing that we did with ground and neutral, the only difference is we're bringing the line to a fuse and then from a fuse to a switch and then we're feeding everything that you know needs that power. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the basic. Now there's a few little caveats I'll just throw out here. We have a cooling fan. Hopefully you can see that. It's pretty dark in here. We have a cooling fan. My cooling fan is, there's no ground connection on my cooling fan. It just has line and neutral. So if you kind of look over here, I've just, you know, connected the cooling fan to the line and neutral uh, connections here on the first power supply. It really doesn't matter where I tie it in. I just tied it in here because it was an easy place to hook it up. Also, I have this uh, light that comes on when I flip the power on. Same thing. The neutral side of that is you know, tied in right here to neutral on this first power supply. The line side, um, I just came right off the switch. So you can see the, 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 the switch when it powers up, it not only does it send power over here to the power supplies, but it also sends power to that lamp to illuminate it. And that's pretty much it. So that's as, as simple as I can explain it. Uh, I have a 10 amp fuse in here. And when I turn the power on, this thing comes on. All the power supplies get power. Cooling fan is running. And we're ready to move on to the next step. And I think uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's as, as simple as I can put it. And uh, so we'll wrap it up there and we'll move on to the next phase of this project. So once again, thanks for watching. Please be safe and have fun. Maybe looks a little bit like a mess, but it's actually, it's actually fairly simple. And you know, what you're doing is you're tying all your neutrals together, you're tying all your grounds together, and then you're taking your line input, you're putting it through a fuse. Excuse me, that was fun. I just zapped myself. That's awesome.